Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to add a water filter to this Hamilton Beach programmable front access easy fill coffee maker, model number 46310. So does your coffee maker look like this? It's got this easy access for the filter and this little lid that lifts up here. I'm going to show you how to add this Hamilton Beach water filter. So unfortunately the coffee maker does not come with this water filter. It says it's an optional. Here's what the box looks like. It's got 80674R on it. It's got some other numbers on the bottom. Type AC12820173701. So if we lift the back lid, there is a spot right there where the water goes in. That's where the water filter is going to go. Right there. And then when the water has to travel through that filter before it can go into the coffee maker. So the water filter comes with these, these two carbon water filters. You're only going to need one, and you should replace this after two months of use. But that's filled with um, carbon, like charcoal, in there. And you're going to have to wash it out. There's some dust in there that we need to get out. So you're going to put this in a cup of water and let it sit for 10 minutes. The water is going to turn like a light gray. After that 10 minutes, you're going to take it over to the sink and rinse this really good for about oh, 20, 30 seconds. After you've got it all ready, then you're going to put it in this holder. Now there's a bunch of parts for different coffee makers in this. This is like the short handle. We need this tall handle and this part. It's just going to snap on. It's very simple to easy to use. So you're just going to put, it's rounded, put it in the bottom. We don't care that it goes all the way down into the filter. As long as it's seated right here is what we want. And then you're just going to snap that on. It should look like that. Now it does have these little months. So you can either put this, like that's January, April, or no, June. And then over here we've got another set. So it's got January, February, March, it's got all the months. I like to put what month I, I put installed it. You can put what month it needs to change too. But so right now it is October, I'm gonna put it on the O. That's kind of an easy way to remember if you pull it out, okay, I put it in in October, so I, if it's December now, it's time to change. Change that every two months. And all you need to buy are just these separate uh, water filters. You don't need to get the holder anymore. And then you're simply just going to come back here, lift this big back lid, and just push it down. Push it down until you can't push no more, and then it's just going to stay right there. And as, when you fill it and do coffee, it'll filter the water. This is if your water tastes bad, um, if it's got like a heavy chlorine, uh, smell or taste to it, this will help with that. And it does help improve the taste of your coffee somewhat. Thanks everybody for watching.